Hey there folks, welcome to Two Brothers Homestead. What we're gonna show you today is our Hoop Coop 2.0, or like I call it, the chicken resort. Uh, what we have is a eight by eight coop. And what we did is we split it down the middle and it uh, has a three foot section in the front that you're about to see we're gonna, this coop isn't done. Uh, it's probably got 95% completed. I figured I'd go ahead and uh, make a video and show show you what we got. And then I'll get the breakdown on how we actually uh, built it from the ground up. Everything we built, we, we did ourselves. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. This is our runs uh, that run off both sides of the coop. Our runs are 16 foot by seven foot. And then our coop again is an eight by eight with a, uh, a hen box on the back that, that you can collect eggs. Now what we got uh, is we got four cattle panels and they're stacked side by side. You can completely walk in this and you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna build a frame 16 foot by seven foot. And then once you get your frame, you're gonna build it, build your cattle panels and you're gonna take plumber strap and you're gonna take plumber strap and you're gonna bend it over and screw it in. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna get your hoop coop to about a seven foot height so that you can walk in there. Uh, also our door is about three and a half, four foot wide. And the reason that we uh, went that wide is we wanted to be able to get a wheelbarrow in there and to get all the shavings and stuff out or just to be able to clean it. We can get a wheelbarrow in there and out. Now, we built it two foot off the ground. As you can see here, they can go completely up underneath the coop. The only thing we gotta finish is the back. We're gonna redo the lid. But we figured we'd go ahead and show you what it's gonna look like. We're gonna go get a uh, three quarter inch uh, piece of plywood and then build a one by four frame. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna split it down the middle. And that way we could uh, uh, open one lid without chickens come out the other vice versa as you can see here they're uh i think they're one foot by one foot boxes and then they'll have a it'll be latched down there and then we'll put another latch up there to hold it as you can see there our uh our wood doesn't go all the way to the top what we did is uh, we, we made it that way so we could have some airflow without having to uh, build vents into it. So we left the, the top open and then we put wire mesh that's on the end of the coops up there. Now we're gonna take you inside the coop. It is uh, approximately 10 foot high by and then eight foot high on the other side. So you have a two foot uh, slope from the front to the back. Now here's our windows. We didn't want to go the route of uh, trying to just find windows, especially when we could just go get a piece of uh, plexiglass and then we uh, trimmed it out, made it look real, real good. It's basically just to let in a little bit of light. There's gonna be plenty of airflow that's inside, but let's go inside and take a look as you can see here our coop is split right down the middle you got two doors on both sides the coops itself is uh four foot by five foot there's our boxes back there we built our uh out of two by threes our uh, roosting poles and we mirrored them on both sides and of course it's wire meshed all the way up and then this is our air vents that you saw outside now this is uh, one thing that 
my brother come up with that he's seen on another YouTube video is our doors. So what we have here is we have a string that is connected and goes all the way down to the door. And then we have another eye bolt right here. And then all we do is we pull the string down, hook it, and then once it's hooked, then the door's completely open. You see how that, that works there. So it goes all the way up to the top. It goes through this eye bolt, through that eye bolt, through that one, and then over and down. And then once you're ready to, to drop it, you just release it, drops back down. What we're gonna do, as I said, we're gonna put automatic water um, with uh, cups and we're gonna drill into the floor and then we're gonna run the pipe completely up underneath the, uh, the floor. So the, the water and the food both will be completely out of the weather. Well, folks, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was a tour of our Hoop Coop 2.0, or like I like to call it, the Chicken Resort. Um, we're going to be uh, getting our girls probably in the next month or two. Um, we build uh, brooder boxes and we build uh, uh, homemade DIY incubators that can hold, you know, 400 to 600 eggs. Um, this is not going to be the the last one that we build uh, we're going to just build a couple traditional hoop coops and we're going to take you step by step on those and exactly how you build them uh, above the windows is uh two solar lights we have got uh two more solar lights that are coming in that are going to be run off of a uh, solar panel we're going to install off the back um, and we got the uh the cups the water nippling cups coming in they said that they'll be here uh early next week so when we get that all installed in that'll be our second video i hope everybody has a nice day this is two brothers homestead